okay okay we are back with some more ray next up is natalie don't who's natalie who's natalie guys tell me who natalie is uh produced by blanda and john hill so we don't got mike sabbath mike sabbath he cooks he cooks uh, i don't recognize these producers but see if they can cook check it out this was four years ago so i wait wait four years ago is this the type of music that they're talking about where like the the record labels are forcing her to push out just pop songs spent 24 hours could have bought me flowers you know i ain't been happy maybe call me in an hour do you know it was her though singing songs in the shower baby no i can't help it what you showing me about her why you staring at him i can see when you know Wait, 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 that beats that beat sounds like Miley Cyrus, the flowers song by Miley Cyrus. Isn't that those drums? Five flowers. I don't know how the song goes. I hear it on the radio. Miley Cyrus flowers. Sounds like that. Okay. Don't overdo TikTok. Ooh. It's kind of groovy. She is Natalie. Is that her name? Yo, is that lettuce rotten? Why is it purple? Wait, is there purple lettuce? Doesn't that exist? Okay. I feel like this part could use something. Why, why are you staring at him? I can see. I feel like I was thinking of Flowers again by Miley Cyrus. And she kind of pits more oomph at the end of that line. And I feel like Ray could benefit from that here as well. Because um, it, it kind of stays lowish. You know what I mean? I mean, it kind of see. That's cool. Say, don't DM, don't text back, don't DM me. Like Dolly, beg Jolly, just because you can, don't take him, please. I do like it, but I do noticing that like like the drop back into the chorus or the pre-chorus, whatever that is, the drop's cool. It's but it's the same thing. I've noticed they're doing they're doing the thing. Where they're just repeating the thing without adding any variation. And I'm not a fan of that. Every time a song has that where it's like the third chorus comes in, it's like the final chorus. You want there to be variation. And there's not much variation. And even the drops. The drops are the same exact drops. No variation. Um, these producers, they know what they're doing. But they're just sticking to the script, it seems like. They're not really doing what they want to do or maybe they just don't want to make any variation i don't know but uh i feel like the really good producers they know how to variate things and keep things evolving as the song goes on you know what i mean um yeah oh,
Who is Natalie taking her man? I, guys, I don't... I, I guess there's some strings, but I think those strings were always there. Oh, here we go, something fresh. I see Genesis right here, and I really just want to watch it again, dude. <laughs> that was nice. That was nice, dude. Um, I like it, but... I don't know. I feel like it was missing something. I, I want Mike Sabbath on production every time, dude. I love my, I love his production. Mike Sabbath's production, dude. So far, I mean, I don't know too much, but the stuff we've heard, it's fucking... It clears the production. Um, but it's still a nice song, and there's some grooviness to it. And there's a little bit of catchiness to it as well. Give this woman the recognition she deserves on repeat. Uh, escapism brought me to the song. She deserved the big success coming her way. I love the energy this woman has. Is criminally underrated. Glad that she's getting the recognition she deserves now. True. The production on this track is absolutely killer. I disagree. It's great. Like, I'm not saying it's bad at all. It's great. But it's definitely lacking. It just feels very, uh... By the book, perhaps? A guide for the broken heart. Don't call them, block them, don't overdo TikTok. Oh, that's everything. All the other subtitles. Jolene and Natalie. Dude. Is Genius going to tell me who these people are? Genius, tell me. Uh, features Ray pleading with another woman, Natalie, to not seduce her lover. So she isn't Natalie. Someone else is. And Natalie's stealing her mans. But who is Natalie? Because she can't be stealing her own mans. You know what I mean? Uh, the sad part is that the song walks so flowers can run. They, oh my god. Wait, yeah. Wait, I didn't think of this. Four years ago, this came out before Flowers. Flowers came after. I'm glad someone else notices the, uh, what's it called? The similarities. Because I, I thought I was just like tripping or something, dude. Where did I see that comment? Comment. Oh, okay. There's no replies. Her makeup was giving Amy Winehouse. Anyone else felt this or am I alone? I get it. The retro feel. Yeah. Why was the song not huge? Such a brush of fresh, fresh air among the crap that's been out this year. <laughs> was this four years ago? 2020? This boosted my confidence as a Natalie. <laughs> That's so funny. It's ridiculous that nobody's talking about it. she's giving us breakup advice in the captions. Uh, my obsession with this song just doesn't end. I love that girl so much already. Her voice, talent, style, outfits, and hair. Miley Cyrus better have paid top dollar when she used this as her new song. I mean, why would Miley Cyrus have to pay anything? She didn't use it. It just sounds similar, dude. This is going to be like the whole... Lana Del Rey, get free with a radio head fucking bullshit. They use the same chords, guys. They use the same chords. Sue her. Like, no, come on. There's only so many fucking chord progressions you can have, dude. Music's been being done for fucking hundreds of years. Fucking since humanity has started. Get over it. Ray, this is so good. A modern day Jolene. Uh, like the country song? Jolene, Jolene. Uh, what the hell? This is so good. It is good. It's great, like I said. Like I said, guys, it's great. But after hearing the stuff that we've already heard, I feel like it's lesser than the stuff we've already heard. You know what I mean? Is this one of the pop songs that they've been talking about that were, were forced by the label? Because it, I don't want to say it kind of feels like that, but it kind of fucking feels like that. Uh, again, she's very talented. So even if it is like a forced pop song, it's still going to turn out nice. And it did. But... It definitely does have that lacking aspect in my mind, at least. Uh, but still, I think it's a cool song. So, overall, man, keep or delete, keep, what will I rate this track? I'll go like... I'll go like an 8-3. I feel like an 8-3. No, 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 no. Cancel that. I'm being generous. I'll go an 8-0. I'll go an 8-0. I do feel like it was lacking something, and the variation was pretty much not variating. So like, this being real, probably like an 8 -0. Probably an 8 -0. That fits more better than an 8-3. Uh, anyways, cool song, man. 8-0 for me. It's cool.